Dan Trek. Let's say welcome to Breaking the Fourth Wall. It's Reset Day, and that means it is T12 Tuesday, and this is episode 13, where I show you guys all of the best gear that you need to grab from the vendors in order to achieve tier 12. But before we get into the video, if you guys enjoy it, hitting that like button and giving your opinion in the comment section below would be greatly appreciated. So, what's T12, you ask? Well, I will put a link to a video in the description that explains T oh, I'm sorry, tier 12 in depth. In short, you want to grab any piece of gear that is 97% or higher for the stats and the perks that you are looking for. So, you are currently looking at Destiny Item Manager. This is one of two different programs that I use, uh, primarily Destiny Item Manager, uh, in order to find out what gear I have is tier 12 equivalent. Now, first thing you actually want to do is go to where it says vendors, and we're actually going to go through this real quick. So, as for Shira 4, at the, Iron, at the Iron Temple, he has no pieces of gear. As for the Titan Vanguard, no pieces of gear. Let's open up the Hunter Vanguard. Uh, once again, no pieces of gear. Van, uh, Warlock Vanguard, yes. So, Ikora Ray does have one piece of tier 12 gear, and that is this 100% roll uh, Ghost. It has Discipline and Strength on it, as well as Spin Metal Sensor. Spin Metal Extractor, as well as Network Tap. So that's definitely good. As for the, whoops, and uh, bring that down. Now we're actually gonna go to weapons uh, last. So for Eris Morn, she has one piece of gear, and if I am correct, it is a Titan Mark, and this has Intellect and Discipline on it. It also has uh, Hand Cannon Focus, Shotgun Focus, as well as Vanguard Champion. If I didn't say before, it is 98%. As for Varix, Varix has a couple pieces of gear. Uh, we have a 98% Warlock Bond with strength, uh, strength and Discipline on it. It also has Hand Cannon Focus, Shotgun Focus, as well as Vanguard Champion. He also has a 98% uh, Titan, I'm sorry, Hunter Cloak, which has Intellect and Strength, as well as Hand Cannon Focus, Sidearm Focus, and Vanguard Champion, as well as a, another Hunter Cloak that is at 100% with Intellect and Strength, and this has Auto Rifle Focus, Fusion Rifle Focus, as well as Vanguard Champion. Uh, moving down to Future War Cults. Future War Cult. We have one piece of gear at 100%, and that is a Hunter Cloak with Intellect and Discipline. It also has Auto Rifle Focus, Shotgun Focus, and Crucible Champion. So definitely pick that up if you guys want that cloak. Uh, moving on down. As for Dead Orbit, we have Warlock Boots at 97% with Intellect and Discipline. This has Sidearm Ammo, Rocket Launcher Ammo, as well as Arc Double Down. Then we also have 98% Hunter Gauntlets with uh, Discipline and Strength. This has at, um, Fastball, Impact Induction, and Sniper Rifle Loader. Moving on down, there's nothing else for Dead Orbit. As for New Monarchy, as for the gear, there's nothing. However, New Monarchy does have a 98% Ghost Shell with Intellect and Discipline. And it also has Spirit Bloom Sensor, Spirit Bloom Extractor, as well as Cleansing Ritual. Now before we get into the Crucible Quartermaster, we're going to finish out the uh, gear. As for the Crucible Handler, Lord Shax. Lord Shax has two pieces of gear, which is a 98% Ghost with Strength and uh, Discipline. It also has Helium Filament Sensor, Helium Extractor, as well as Titan Bounty, and a 99% uh, Titan Chest Piece with Intellect and Discipline. It also has Scout Rifle Ammo, Shotgun ammo, void recovery, and void armor. So definitely pick that up. Moving on down, uh, Tyra Karn does not have anything for us. No Crypt Dark, 
I'm not worried about that. The speaker. The speaker actually has a couple pieces of gear for us. We have a 98% Titan mark with intellect and discipline. This also has pulse rifle focus, machine gun focus, as well as Vanguard champion. Let's see what else. We have a Warlock bond at 98%, which is Storm Caller's bond with intellect and strength. This has auto rifle focus, fusion rifle focus, as well as Vanguard champion. And then we have a Hunter Cloak at 98%, the Gunslinger's Cloak, which has Intellect and Discipline with Auto Rifle Focus, Machine Gun Focus, and Vanguard Champion. So, once again, when it comes... Whoops. Give me a second. No Cryptarch stuff, no Gunsmith, and no Weapon Blueprints. No Holiday Blueprints. So, once again, once Zerg comes, you guys can grab any of these... Um, exotic armors from the kiosk, re-roll them, and it is possible to get them at 100% on uh, to your tier 12 scale. I know, I've done it, I have a couple pieces of gear, so it's possible. So, let's actually go up to the Vanguard um, Quartermaster. And look at the weapons they got. Now, there's only a few weapons to actually look at. Uh, pers personally, we will actually look at the Continental... Um, and just look at the perks at it. The Continental this week has uh, Red Dot ORA, Quick Draw IS, as well as OEG Rifle Scope. But what's more important is that it has Rodeo, Perfect Balance, Counter Balance, and that's amazing. You got stability on this gun like it's cool. It also has uh, Hip Fire as well as a Pendant Magazine. So if you do get the Continental, I would definitely max out this top row. Uh, it definitely makes this auto rifle extremely, extremely, extremely stable. Next is the uh, Pothian Shot. And it has a decent roll on it. Uh, I'm pretty sure there are better rolls out there, but this uh, week it has Reflex, Steady Hand IS, as well as OEG. Now, just like the other one, this one has stability like crazy, counterbalance, perfect balance, as well as take a knee. It also has secret round and rifle barrel. So you can mix these up any way you want, but it is definitely possible to get a two burst shot on this gun, as long as it's a headshot. So definitely go ahead and grab that. Let's see. Uh, let's see what the Angel Advocate has. Nah, not really good roll on Angel Advocate. How dare you? Not really good roll on the how dare you. Uh, Exastrus, not really good roll on that either. Uh, Teacup Tempest has a decent roll. It's nothing to brag about. Last week's Teacup Tempest was a lot better, in my opinion. And then for the Bone Crusher, we got stability. Stability, stability. No. Not really that much stability. So if you can get a Bone Crusher with a with great stability on it, this thing will, like, tear. But it's okay right now. You know, it's decent. Now, let's go to the Vanguard Quartermaster. I'm sorry, the uh, Crucible Quartermaster. I apologize. If I can actually find it. Here we go. So, let's look at these real quick. Uh, Zero Day Dilemma, nope. Party favor. Let's look at that real quick. We got uh, MD Reflex, Sure Shot IS, as well as OEG. Then we got Rodeo, Small Bore, and Cannon Balance, as well as Take a Knee, and Feather Mag. It's a decent roll, Party Favor. You know, there are a little bit better guns out there, uh, better rolls for Party Favor as well. But. It does not mean that this gun isn't a, uh, a go-to, you know. I would still get it if I were you. Uh, let's see. Each New Day actually has uh, Hidden Hand, Hand Laid Stock. It's, it's okay. It's decent. Not, uh, whoops. Not really something that good when it comes to uh, Fusion Rifles. Let's see. We got Chaotic Neutral. Yeah, like neutral definitely has a uh, hidden hand with perfect balance and not too fa not too fond of life support. Uh, and Gorilla Fighter is okay. 
Let's see what we got for uh, CQV Ballistics, Smooth Ballistics, as well as Field Choke. Linear Compensator would have been a lot better, but that's just my opinion. It's okay. However, let's go to uh, the Palindrome. And this thing has a great roll on it. So the Palindrome, we have Steady Hand IS, Sure Shot IS, Quick Draw IS, Outlaw, Hammer Forged, and luck in the chamber. We also have partial refund as well as explosive rounds. By all means, if you want a palindrome with luck in the chamber, grab this. Please. This actually is a better roll than my other palindrome that I have, which has luck in the chamber. Uh, but mine also has small bore as well. But it does not have outlaw. It definitely does not have outlaw. It has. Uh, some other thing is like hot swap or something. But this is definitely a good roll, so by all means, grab this palindrome as fast as you can and pretty much go from there. So, that brings us uh, to the end of uh, Tier 12 Tuesday, episode 13. However, last week I did try to solo and do a live commentary of the solo of the Nightfall. It didn't work. For some reason, my Elgato HD60 Pro was not being at all cooperative and it just didn't do it i tried recording it three times and it just said fuck you but i will actually do solo uh, nightfalls if you guys actually want to see that and uh i also do nightfalls with friends as well but solo nightfalls are a lot cooler to watch and that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Let me know in the comments below what you would like to see as a future video on Breaking the Fourth Wall. Feedback from you guys is amazing because it really helps the channel to grow. Thank you guys for all of your support. I'm Reckless, and remember, own your success, and I will see you guys next time.